The 100m sprint is one of the shortest and most popular track events in athletics. It takes just seconds to complete, but a good performance requires considerable training, strength and power. The sprint itself can be broken down into several phases, start, acceleration and maximum speed. A good start is vital. Put position on the blocks should put the body into the right position for acceleration. Both pedals should be around 45 degrees. Hands should be positioned with the thumb and index finger at the start line and arms shoulder width apart. Taking off, the back leg should extend briefly, then come forward quickly to take the first step. The front leg should powerfully extend, propelling the athlete forward, hips extended and body at a 45 degree angle from the ground. But don't be too eager. Reaction time is measured by sensors in the starting pistol and blocks. If a false start is declared, runners are recalled and the offending athlete disqualified. Sprinters will typically reach their peak speed at between 50 and 60 metres, their body now in an upright position. Top flight athletes can reach speeds of around 40 kilometres an hour. Six-time Olympic gold medalist Jamaican Usain Bolt set the world record for the 100-metre sprint in 2009 with a lightning-quick time of 9.58 seconds. The women's world record of 10.49 seconds was set by American Florence Griffith Joyner in 1988.